He said, and if he comes to me running, then I go to him with speed. And I am faster with my forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is faster with his forgiveness. I am even faster with my forgiveness. Because we can't even approach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a hand span, not even less than a hand span. Unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already engulfed us into his forgiveness and into his mercy. You have no ability to walk to the place of water and to make your wudu and to walk to your place of salah and to stand between the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except that Allah has first allowed you to enter into his mercy. So no matter how fast you go to Allah, no matter how much you turn to Allah, He is already faster and He has gone to you quicker. And this is why the slave, when he hears the mu'adhin making the adhan, and he is told to repeat after the mu'adhin, until the mu'adhin reaches hayya ala salah wa hayya ala al-falah, until the mu'adhin reaches and says, come to your prayer, come to your success. And when he says that, you're commanded to say, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. That there's no way and there's no power except for Allah subhanahu wa taala. Because that's for you to know and to realize that there is no possibility for you to stand in front of Allah azza wa jalla and to stand between the hands of Allah azza wa jalla, except that Allah subhanahu wa taala chose you and desired for you to stand in front of Him, and He wanted you to stand and to recite His words, and He wanted to hear His words coming out of your mouth. And when you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't choose for anyone to worship Him and to draw closer to Him and to stand in front of Him with their hearts in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except that Allah azza wa wanted to see you standing there and wanted to see you worshiping Him and wanted to see you, see you making dua for Him and wanted to hear you reciting His words back to Him. And if Allah azza wa has love for you to allow you to perform these ibadat, then you have to know that Allah Azza wa does not throw those whom He loves into the hellfire. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is too generous that if any of you go to Him and ask of Him, that He turns you away with nothing.